But when I think about the buffalo skull, I think about it in the context of the Sundance. And the Sundance, of course, is the most important of our ceremonies. It's an annual ceremony done in the spring solstice uh, during which we pray for the renewal of life. And the buffalo skull, of course, occupies a central position as a sort of an altar at the base of the sacred pole in the middle of tree pole. And so that's appropriate because the buffalo, of course, provided you know, our most important needs, you know, provided our food, shelter, clothing, a lot of different things. And so that's, that's why people were so you know, focused on the buffalo. Now, of course, it's totally different times. You know, we need to think about, you know, what do we need now to survive? And the answer essentially is education. And uh, it reminds me of what the elders say. They say that the reason why we're here on earth is to learn. And education, when you really look at it, is sort of fundamental to everything. You know, if you have appropriate education, then you know you know how to live appropriately, how to get along around in life, and of course things like money kind of follow. You know, some people think that money is the new buffalo, but it's not. You know, education really is the foundation of what we need. But one thing I must say is that there is a significant difference between the kind of education that we experience in mainstream society in schools and universities and traditional indigenous education. And the mainstream education system is based on what's called the philosophy of rationalism. Philosophy of rationalism is interesting because it essentially is an intellectual tradition that has totally dismissed spirituality. You know, it's totally divorced itself from any notions of spirituality. It's relegated spirituality to the realm of superstition and that type of thing. But that's not the case in indigenous spirit, uh, education and knowledge. To us, spirit is real, and it's also an essential component of knowledge. I like to view spirituality as a higher form of intelligence. Just to give you a little example, you take something like chemistry. So if you take a course in chemistry, you know, you're going to study all about chemicals and chemical formulas and compounds and you know you can apply this knowledge to make all kinds of things pharmaceuticals but then you step back and you think about it and what you find is that you know our world has essentially become dangerously polluted with all kinds of chemicals that are essentially killing life uh, you take a look at pharmaceuticals like opioids and uh, thalidomide, you know, those kind of uh, pharmaceuticals that have actually damaged people. And, uh, you know, there are, you know, some pharmaceuticals that are actually just produced for the sake of money, purely for profit. Now, if indigenous people had been involved in this and if they had been responsible for this, uh, the outcome would have been different. And, um, you know, I... Uh, know that uh, indigenous people are, are perfectly rational, they're perfectly capable of using their brains as well as anybody else. We were able to discover plant uses, edible, edible plants and uh, medicinal, medicinal cures, you know, aspirin and quinine and all types of things. And we did this through our knowledge system, through respectful relationships with these plants, through inquiry, uh, dreams and visions, but also observation. And so, you know, we, th we prayed about it and we asked the question, should these chemicals and uh, other medicines be, or, you know, should they be produced? Will they harm anyone? What will the consequences be for the seven generations? And so that's the difference between mainstream education and indigenous education and knowledge. We have that extra layer of of, uh, of um, wisdom, spiritual intelligence, I would call it, which is, a, as I mentioned, a higher form of intelligence. And so I'd conclude by saying that uh, education is not 
simply the new buffalo for indigenous people. It's actually a very uh, valuable and ancient intellectual tradition which needs to be protected and preserved for the benefit of humanity and for humanity's survival. <laughs>